Welcome back to Borderlands 2. I'm Crimson Revenant. And today, I just want to talk to you guys about something before we set up this beacon. Um, I like to record my videos in chunks of anywhere from three to five videos at a time. And <clears throat> I'd say right about now, probably my sixth video is going up. Yeah, I know that might seem a tad cold to some people like, oh, he's not trying to pay them to just come in. No, not really. I'm just having so much fun playing this game that I just want to keep going. Like, I, but, uh, I had a problem. I got a, um, email from YouTube saying that there were third party claims on my previous videos because of music. Which I honestly didn't think would be a problem for Borderlands because I've seen so many Let's Plays of it before. So, from now on, I'm not going to use music. I think this is episode 29. So, for episode 28 to episode 1, you will hear music, but anywhere after, there won't be. Hopefully. Like, if I can sort out these third party claims for good, maybe they won't constantly claim my videos, I don't know, but the first, yeah, like the first 28 videos, including the last one, I'm not going to make any money on them because of YouTube's stupid, uh, identification system. Overlook has once like, again I honestly don't know if any of those companies have legitimate claims the on the music. Week. Like, I think maybe only one of them might, and the other ones are just stream. That when I look them up, they're just like streaming services or something. They're not even like I'm not sure. One of them said like it was like USG. Now there's two USGs. There's like Universal. I don't know. It was a UMG. It was like Universal Music Group, and then there was another one which was like a gaming community, which I think had a YouTube channel. Now, I'm not entirely sure which one it is, but I still don't think they necessarily have the right to claim the music uh, for Borderlands. I think the only people that have the right to claim for Borderlands is Gearbox. But, honestly, if that is a problem, like if Gearbox, if like a Gearbox game is having these music claims, Honestly, I think Gearbox should be the one that is uh, battling me for people who want to uh, do Let's Plays of these games. Just a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to close some windows because it was starting to rain a bit. Um... So yeah, like the first 28 videos, I can't monetize because of these third-party claims. And Welcome knowing so from previous experience, like I've seen other YouTubers have this problem, is that these probably won't be resolved until... Like if the companies don't respond at all, it'll automatically be resolved in my favor. Like, the, like if they don't have a... Uh, if they don't wave a flag, then it's automatically my victory, I think. But if they do, which would be nice if they did it in the next few days, because the way it, what YouTube happens is you get most of your views in the first 48 hours you put up a video. I don't think that's going to be the case for me, because I have so few views and subscribers at this point, but... It's really going to suck when I try to do other videos, so like I might put out test videos just to see if anything pings off of them. Overlook has once again inched out oh. Jacksville for fewest weekly curfew violations. For the next week, the grinder will only be used for egregious We're going to do this now. Like I'm no longer going to make this episode, but I'm at least going to try and go for a 10 minute video at least. Lunar beacon. It's transmitting the supply request now. We've just got to wait a few minutes and. Angel, that's enough. You can stop pretending to help the bad guys now. Angel. 
We don't have long until Jack realizes I'm not helping him anymore. Um. Oh. Now, if you can't even handle these loaders, you're really gonna disappoint me. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I like cough, hack, and sneeze. The allergies outside are, or the pollen outside is really bad, so my allergies are probably way worse than normal. Oh, God, there's like some weird slowdown. Shoot him, crap. <laughs> you guys might hear my phone in a couple minutes. I don't know. Might have to end this video after this fight because something is causing some serious lag issues. Darn it. The lunar engineers denied our request. I'll see what I can do. Send in the constructors. I want those bastards dead. Somebody constructor? Ooh, that's not gonna really be fun. Sentry deployed! Oh, and there it is. I'm just gonna level up really quick. Um, yeah, I think I'll do. I forget what I was concentrating. Why don't I have my bonus for impact anymore? Did I switch that out? All right, sentry. What is that again? All right. So it stays out like super long, right? Um, <clears throat> Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Fast travel 
station now. Nothing gets results like a death threat. Not everything can be Man, I don't know if it's just because the amount of freaking dudes I'm fighting. I don't know if it's the amount of dudes I'm fighting, or if something in the background is causing problems, but... It's almost here. Just protect the beacon for another few seconds. Now you be the fast travel has landed. Give me a second while I calibrate it to Sanctuary's new position. Ah, oh, where is this jerk? God. Go quickly. Use the fast travel station and get back to sanctuary. Angel, you and I are going to have a serious talk. Yeah, I'm just going to pick up this stuff here. Hyperion wishes to remind you that it could be much worse. Sanctuary. <laughs> oh, technically, Sanctuary is an enemy. Oh, wow. Oscar's garage is like hanging right off the freaking edge almost. Oh, we got lots of missions, too. Alright, let's just talk to the uh, folks up here and then we'll call it an episode, I think. See if I can't sort out any background programs that might be causing lag. So there's nothing back here anymore. The city may be safe right now, but what happens if Hyperion launches another barrage? We've got no shield. Ah, uh, good point. Let me get on the Echo. Oh, good. You're not dead. That's yeah. his way of saying, wow, you're a badass. I'm glad you're okay. Ah, oh, sweet. Another weapon. Right. Sorry. We'd all be dead if... Yeah, hold on a second, I wrong. I want to equip my... Where's my good submachine gun? Oh, actually, I got better guns than this now, I think. Do I have better guns than this? Yeah, I guess I do. Alright. So it looks like we'll be selling a purple-grade weapon for this. Also... My bad if you guys hear like thunder and lightning because we got like a storm incoming right now. This is compared to my rocket launcher. Ooh, that does more damage. Uh, but that reload kind of sucks and it does a lot of elemental damage. Yeah, we're going to hold on to our current. Well, it does a little more damage, and the reload speed is a little bit better, so. Um. Yeah, screw it. I'll do this off. The rest of this off camera. We need a plan. Jack's getting closer and closer to digging up the warrior, and we still don't know where he's got the vault key stashed. I can help you with that. You? Damn it! We told you never to contact us again! Will you please just hear me out? Sure. Let's listen to the crazy computer that just tried to kill us. Hey, remember that time she told us the vault was full of loot? It's with me. I'm charging the vault key. Continue. The key naturally charges itself once every 200 years. Jack is patient, but he's not that patient. He's been using my power to forcibly charge the key with Iridium. If you find me, you find the vault key. The vault key is housed in my AI control core atop Thousand Cuts. It's protected by three impassable security hurdles. The first is a competitor deterrence field that will obliterate any non-Hyperion entity passing through it. Competitor deterrence field? What, like a 
Death Wall? It is a field of pure thermosonic energy, programmed to atomize any unauthorized personnel. Ouch. So yeah, a Death Wall. Beyond that lies the second hurdle, a defense bunker outfitted with the most high-tech weaponry Hyperion can afford. That doesn't sound good. Past the bunker, you'll have to get through the final hurdle, a door that will only open for Handsome Jack. Well, that sounds even worse. This will be your only opportunity to steal the vault key and stop Jack from controlling the warrior. I'm out of time. Do what you will, but promise me this. No matter what happens, do not allow Lilith into my chambers. What the hell's that supposed to mean? If she was luring us into a trap, she would have made it sound impossible. If we're taking that bitch down, I'm coming. Trap or not. If anyone's gonna shut her down, it has to be you, Soldier. Head to the Hyperion Preserve. I think I know how to get past the first hurdle. Alright. So we're gonna call it episode here. Next time we will... After I run through all my weapons and stuff, we're gonna check out all of the missions in town. I don't think we're gonna do the Wildlife Preserve for a couple episodes, but I think we're just gonna try and clear out some of the missions around town. And, alright, I'll see you guys next time. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And screw YouTube's music listening robots. <laughs>